Okay, so let's talk about Temu. Launched by Pin Duo Duo in 2022, the introduction of Temu and its instantaneous rise through the e-commerce landscape is proving to be a challenge for many established giants of online shopping. So in today's video, I wanted to explore how Temu is challenging the dominance of Amazon and Sheen. The first reason why Temu has been able to quickly gain traction amongst younger budget conscious uh, demographics is because it offers competitive pricing on a wide range of products, even undercutting established brands. This could be attributed to Pinduoduo's experience in China's highly competitive e-commerce market where price wars are common. The second reason is Temu's strategic integration with TikTok. By doing this, Temu is able to build brand awareness and drive traffic towards the app, particularly Gen Z shoppers who are heavily influenced by social media trends. Let me give you an example. In late 2022 and early 2023, there was a surge in popularity for Temu hauls on TikTok, where users showed off their purchases from the app. These videos often highlighted the trendy and inexpensive fashion items available on Temu, and they used uh, catchy hashtags like Temu Finds and uh, Temu Hall. In a similar fashion, Temu's commercials on major sporting events like the Super Bowl also garnered widespread attention from a vast majority of Americans. The third reason is Temu's user interface. The app prioritizes a gamified shopping experience by incorporating flash sales, group buying options, and reward programs that encourage user engagement. In fact, Singapore's Shopee has been doing this for more than five years, but the reason why I think it is seen as a big deal with Temu is because the Americans are finally aware of it. As I mentioned before, Temu's focus on ultra-low prices can easily be regarded as the sole reason for its success, but this also brings concerns over the quality of products it's featuring on its platform, or the kind of policies it relies on to operate. A few years ago, I made a video on my unsatisfactory shopping experience with Shopee because of a loophole with their, re uh, with their return policy. Now, the incident in question was a one in a million sort of situation and even though I haven't used Shopee as much since that incident, we do have that natural human tendency to be more vocal about what is negative. Moreover, the fierce competition from established platforms like Amazon and Sheen with their extensive product selections and robust logistics networks and established brand recognition will force Temu to innovate itself aside from just providing ultra low prices on established clothing, electronics, and homeware brands. At the end of the day, Temu's entry into the e-commerce field brings both possibilities and uncertainties. There could be pressure on established businesses to enhance their pricing policies and user interaction. There might be more rivalry between countries as platforms compete to offer the best deals. Ultimately, Temu's long-term success hinges on its capacity to build trust with consumers while fostering a sustainable and responsible business model in spite of concerns over quality control and ethical sourcing practices. And that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking it. Please consider subscribing to the channel and pressing that bell icon for future channel updates. I'll bid you another farewell from another video and I'll see you next time.